In the soft autumn breeze, the gentle hum of a nearby propeller plane provided the perfect soundtrack to an adventure I hadn't seen coming. The sun was setting, casting golden hues across the airstrip, when she appeared like a vision out of a 1960s film, twirling her polka-dotted skirt with an infectious laughter that drew everyone's eyes. Ever heard of the Mile High Club and the Dress Me Girly Club? She teased, her voice playful, her eyes gleaming with mischief. I was taken aback, not just by the question, but by the undeniable allure of her presence. She was not mocking, she was inviting me into a world that seemed as expansive as the horizon before us. Which one would you like to join, pretty boy? She asked, her tone lilting at the edges. I had always been the quiet one, the observer, never the participant. But something about her challenge sparked a fire within me. Perhaps it was the way the wind played with her hair, or how the setting sun seemed to spotlight her, but I felt a sudden surge of courage. The Dress Me Girly Club, I replied, surprising even myself. A smile spread across her face, bright and encouraging. Perfect choice, she exclaimed, her hands clapping in delight. She reached out and took my hand, leading me towards the small white airplane. Today, we explore the skies and the styles, she declared. As we boarded the plane, the pilot gave us a nod of acknowledgement. Ready for takeoff, he said, and with that, the engines roared to life. The plane taxied down the runway, and as we ascended, the world below us shrank away, leaving my uncertainties with it. She opened a suitcase filled with fabrics, colors, and patterns. Fashion is like flying, she mused, both take you to places you've never been before. She handed me a scarf, light and silken, and taught me how to tie it. Each piece of clothing was a layer of new identity, a playful exploration of self I had never dared to embrace. Hours passed like minutes as we laughed, dressed up, and took photos with the clouds as our backdrop. She showed me that the sky was not the limit but just the beginning. As the plane descended back to earth, so did we, but I was not the same. I had joined a club, but more importantly, I had stepped into a new chapter of my life, one where I was no longer just an observer. As we touched down, she winked at me, welcome to the club, pretty boy. And for the first time, I felt the weight of those words, not as a label, but as a badge of honor. As we stepped off the plane, the world didn't seem quite as it had been. The airstrip, with its endless stretches of tarmac, felt more like a runway, a stage for new beginnings. She guided me back to the hangar, where the sun now dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in strokes of pink and orange. Did you enjoy your first flight with the Dress Me Girly Club? She asked, her eyes searching mine for a hint of the joy she hoped I'd found. I did, I admitted, feeling a sense of liberation I hadn't expected. It was more than just dressing up. It was about discovering a part of myself I kept hidden. She nodded, understanding the depth of my words. That's what it's all about. Not just the clothes, but what they allow you to express. As we walked, she shared stories of her own journeys, both in the air and in her life. Each tale was a thread in the fabric of her character, vibrant and daring. I listened, captivated by her resilience, the way she wove her experiences into lessons about freedom and authenticity. By the time we reached the hangar, night had fully settled, and the first stars began to twinkle in the sky. She stopped and turned to face me, her expression earnest. You know, pretty boy, this club isn't just about fun. It's about finding who you are and owning it, in the skies or on the ground. Her words resonated deep within me, stirring thoughts and feelings I had pushed aside in the mundane rush of daily life. Can I join you again? I asked, the question carrying all my newfound hopes. Of course, she replied, her smile wide. The skies are always open, and so is the club. And who knows, maybe next time, you'll be the one showing someone else how liberating this can be. As we said our goodbyes, I felt a sense of camaraderie that went beyond our shared flight. It was a bond, a promise of further adventures and self-discovery. I walked away from the hangar with a lighter step, a scarf still draped around my neck, a tangible reminder of the day I soared above the clouds not just in a plane, but in spirit. That night, as I lay in bed, the ceiling above me seemed less like a barrier and more like an invitation. I drifted into sleep with dreams of azure skies and endless possibilities, knowing that the next time I took to the skies with her, it wouldn't just be about dressing up. It would be about rising up, embracing the vast, open expanse of who I could become.